Tyler here with projectsandmetal.com. I wanted to put together a quick build video for you guys showing my tailstock dial indicator stop that I made for my Grizzly G0602 lathe. All you need for this project is a piece of quarter inch aluminum stock cut in a rectangular shape large enough to accommodate the outside diameter of your tailstock. I'm going to show you some unconventional ways in which a lathe can be used for milling operations and by unconventional I mean doing things like using an end mill held in a three-jot chuck instead of having an end mill held in an end mill holder or in a collet and using a tool holder to hold your piece of aluminum instead of using a milling attachment. These are all examples of unconventional ways in which a lathe can be used for milling operations. The first part of this project is to use an end mill to true up the sides of the piece of aluminum that you cut. And if your skill level with a hacksaw mirrors my skill level, um, you're going to need to take a few, uh, a few thousands to true up this part. But once you've got the part trued up, you need to cut a recess for the quarter twenty screw that you'll use to secure the stop to your tailstock. I use the same 5 8 inch end mill for all the milling operations. Here you can see that I've milled the recess and now I am drilling the hole that I will later uh, tap for a quarter twenty screw and then again that screw will be used to secure the stop to my tailstock. I use my spring center to hold the tap in perfect alignment with the hole while tapping for the quarter twenty screw. The next step in the project is to secure the part in a four jaw chuck. I used a one inch carbide insert to make sure that the part was held in the four jaw chuck perfectly parallel to the face of the chuck and perpendicular to the hole that I needed to bore to fit over the tailstock. Then I used a center drill and a quarter inch, half inch, and three quarter inch drill bit to enlarge the hole large enough so that I could use a boring bar to complete the uh, boring operation. I made very light cuts and took several spring passes so that I could get the hole to within a thousandth of the outside diameter of my tailstock. Here's the finished part ready to be slit with a slitting saw. I used a slitting saw held in a three jaw chuck but you could also use a slitting saw that fit the morse taper of your, of your headstock or you could simply use a hacksaw or any other, other method to cut the slot. The slot allows the two sides of the piece to be drawn together with a quarter twenty cap screw and secured in place over the outside diameter of the tailstock. And here you can see the stop in use with a $10 one inch dial indicator from Harbor Freight fitted with a mag base. This setup makes it much easier for me to drill an accurate hole to depth. Be sure to visit projectsinmetal.com for additional videos, tips, tricks, and other projects related to hobby machining. Thanks for uh, watching. I hope you appreciated the video.